This is a 67-year-old female who presented to the hospital with chest pain consistent with accelerated angina. And we did a coronary angiogram. The most significant finding was this moderate lesion in her distal right coronary. Here you can see it in the LEO cranial projection. And you can see there's a little bit of plaque in the mid right. In the distal right, there's actually a couple different areas that are a little bit more in the 50 to 70% range. So this is a straight left view. And you can see they look a little bit more significant in that view. And if we look at the REO view, again, they don't look quite as significant. So what we're left with is a, uh, two moderate lesions in the distal right coronary. So we chose to use the, the common FFR wire to assess the physiologic severity of these lesions. So we used a JR4 guiding catheter. We placed the wire in the distal right coronary because we even put it out really quite distally to see. But we wanted to assess the FFR at these areas and we were able to assess the FFR with adenosine. Of course, we zeroed the wire first to make sure that we equalized and everything was, was the same. So this is a great, uh, great view of the FFR. We started the adenosine fusion here, and you can see that the baseline, this wasn't very significant, probably in the point, 0.9293 range. And then as you can see over time, the curves diverge and you get to a hemodynamically significant number of 0.78. So at this point, we elected to go ahead and do angioplasty. Luckily, we were using the Comet wire, so we were able to just use that wire as our workhorse wire. So we simply disconnected the wire, and we were able to proceed with the case. So we went in with the balloon, and we pre-dilated the lesions. Then we went in with a Synergy stent, and uh, you can see it was a uh, 2.75 by 32 Synergy stent. Uh, very flexible, very easy to pass stent. One of the best stents currently available. And even though this lesion is very tortuous, we hung up a little bit in the right corner. With some gentle pressure, we were able to get it to cross the lesion after pre-dilatation position in the right spot. And there's our final result. So you can see we are able to get an excellent final result with very little time, and we assess the hemodynamic significance and had a very good outcome for this patient.